We already started it. It's over. <laughs> Just imagine the look on Cameron's face if Karen gets boob implants. He would be shocked. Nothing would shock my son anymore. I wish that something shocked him, but he, apparently he doesn't get shocked anymore because I'm, I'm me. I, I say he has to be pretty unshockable now. Yeah, unflappable, considering five and a half years of talking about sex with his mother. Um, swag boy loves cougars. That's good to know. Always like to know who. Yeah. Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi. Oh, announcement on TikTok. 20,000 uh, followers today. Congratulations. Woo -hoo -hoo. You're the audience. I think what put That's us awesome. over the edge is when, I know what put us over the edge. When I asked people. What's that? If they feel if they're able, where they like to shit. If they, the conversation oh, came up. The conversation came up as to if you can shit outside of your home, and apparently there was a lot, a lot of discussion on the topic. A lot of, and someone actually told me I had a potty mouth and I would be much more attractive if I, if I didn't swear. So then I took a vote about uh, if that's true, and ninety three percent said they liked when I swear. So I'm going to fucking keep going. Fuck that. Hey, you know, it's empowering to swear. Uh, once, when I was a teenager, I had to teach my mom how to swear. Oh, that's she, cute. She, she never swore at all. Oh. She, I mean, my she, mother she wasn't was into so, swearing either. She was so shy that if somebody was telling a dirty joke, she'd leave the room. And then, and then she had teenagers. And then, uh, so... My brother and I, mostly me, <laughs> gave, her, gave her lessons in how to swear and how to tell a dirty joke. Oh, that's so oh cute. God, least that was that was that was like the best thing to hear hear these words come out of her mouth. So now, hysterical. so did she actually say the word shit and things like that? Yeah, she would tell. She would mostly tell a joke with the words in it. Yeah, there's something about using. I don't, I don't and you could put, you, yeah, yeah. It, it is. So Mike, Mike on uh, TikTok said it's empowering to swear. There's some, and it seems like it's like you can come off as much more of an authority if you say, close the fucking door versus close the door, you know? <laughs> it depends on who you're trying to encourage. So Merry <laughs> Christmas to you too, Paul, and to everybody else here. My, my mom would, you know, you'd hear her go, drop something and go, shit. <laughs> Yeah, now, yeah, now, I don't think my mother's still a one. That, okay, hush, hush, you want to share my story with you on your podcast, share it here. Share the story. Is it a long story? Who knows what story this is going to be? Why do I look so white over here on TikTok? I look like I'm, like, bleached out. I know. Um, thank you for yes. following me on King of Spades 31. Hello, kitty to you. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, anyway, so we should get to some of these questions um, or we can just find out how everybody's doing. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, we can do questions and then if people, if people share stuff, we can pause and address their questions or, or comments and then we can, we can jump right back in. Okay. Then. Merry Christmas, Roger. Merry Christmas to all. Happy Hanukkah, which is over, and Happy Kwanzaa. Did, you, did, did everybody like our little our little festive uh, promos today? Yeah, did you like? I don't know if you guys saw the festive promos. They're pretty hot. Uh, help me. Did you guys like my festive Move your promos? ass. Somebody oh. named A.B. Gooney said, help me now, baby. Boom. Need cum shot now, baby. Boom. Help me. Move your ass show naked body and squirt pussy live and now. Here are you come shot now, baby. Somehow Abagundi thought he got on some sort of weird webcam site. That, uh, he is now going to be blocked from my. <laughs> Sorry, Abagundi, you're in the wrong place and you're back in timeout. <laughs> He's in timeout. I like putting people in timeout. That that's the that's the, the hole. Let's put him in the hole. You're going in, and you're going in the hole. But not the one they want to be in. Not the right hole, though. <laughs> <laughs> wrong hole, wrong hole. 
All right. So anyway, uh, what's everybody doing here on, on Christmas Eve? Christmas is a pagan holiday of the winter solstice. Thank you for that uplifting uh, description, Hostel Migtow. He's always up for a little controversy. Oh, my God. He wrote some weird. He wrote some weird stuff on my YouTube. Yeah, why are you why are you writing weird stuff on Nancy's YouTube? You know. Yeah, yeah don't write weird stuff. I'll just block your ass. She, she, she likes to block. She's a badass. You don't want to mess with her. I like it because personally, if I was in a dark alley, I'd want to be with her. The block thing is like my gun. You know? Chew, chew, chew. <laughs> All right, Francisco Ramirez has a problem. Thank you, Robert. I have a problem. I'm engaged, but this very, but this new woman came in my life. She's 47 and fake tits, but she wants something more. What should I do? Uh, also, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Glad you had the Merry Christmas in there, Francisco. Uh, what should you do? I say you break this engagement. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you better do some do some soul searching and decide if you want to be in a um, monogamous relationship or not. If you are not able to or don't want to, you better have a conversation, right? Yeah, speak your truth. You know, speak your truth, the, baby. The, the the best thing oh. people can do in the in early relationships, like from the start, is just to be real, be honest. Don't try to Talk. be what somebody else you think what you think somebody else wants you to be. Don't try to say what you think somebody else wants you to say. Just be authentic. And then you will, if, you, if you're not attracted to them, good. Let them go because eventually you wouldn't be attractive to them. Okay. I hope you heard that, Francisco. We say talk it out. Be real. If there's someone with 47 and fake tits, is that going to be, Is you, you're asking someone else to marry you. So think about, you know. I don't know. Just think about it. Think, 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 think things through first. Okay, moving on. Question of the day from Brady. What are your opinions about men buying sex toys for themselves? Woohoo! Good job. We said go for it, Brady. Why the fuck not? Why are we why do women have monopoly on sex toys? Speaking yeah, of which, I love my sex house. toys. Speaking of which, we love our sex toys. <laughs> All right, where were we? 35, I want to be happy, Francisco. Then you figure that out. What's going to make you happy? Hostile midtime, I'm going to spank you with a cat of nine tails, Karen. Okay, there. All right. Um, thank you for sharing that one. We waited until the timer is right, and it's good to be honest. Yes. I like Frico Bendito. You're my man. I'm just talking a little TikTok. I'm curious why uh, you, you decided to wait to go to your grandmother's tonight. Who was waiting to go to grandma's? He, he decided not to go to grandma's. Is it just to protect her? Or is she okay? Who are we talking about? Br Bryson. Oh, Bryson was supposed to go to the grandmother's house and didn't go. Oh, that's a, I'm, I'm sure it was a very generous thing, whatever he decided to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Good evening to all. People are having to make some really tough decisions yes. this year. Like, like Dream Merchant, is, he has a question. Why is spend money on sex when you can just hook up with an escort or find sexy cougar? <laughs> why spend money? Wait. Why, why spend money on a sex you when you can just hook up with an escort? Well, isn't the escort going to charge you money too? I don't understand. Please clarify the question. Uh, yeah. What's better for maybe men than... Met, oh, maybe, maybe he meant sex toy. Se oh, a sex toy. I'm thinking, he, I'm thinking he meant to say sex toy. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, where were we? The reason I asked the question... Oh, Brady, back to him, is because I never bought a sex toy before and it makes me nervous. Go for it. I got. We can get you a discount code, too, on a lot of different sex toys. <laughs> Uh, let me yeah. tell, let me think about what the sex to what codes you should go for. I don't even know anymore. We've got so many companies we're sponsoring right now. Best male sex toy. Hmm. Let me. You know what? Get back to me on this. Uh, go on. Uh, yeah. Somewhat. Somehow contact us later on about this, and I will uh, tell you what the best male sex toy is. There you go. I got some ideas for you. 
All right, where were we? Have you, have you ever seen the Venus? I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. It's your <laughs> desire. No, I think I I know the Lalo one. It's called Tor or something. It's a cock ring. It's like all kinds of fun stuff you could get. Venus is a little machine, but it's a it's a full masturbator. So you just you just put your cock in and oh, you're your talking cock. about a flashlight. No, it's called Venus. It's, oh. it's put out. It's put out by the same company that makes Sibian. Ah, uh, and we know you like that. Um, yeah. Okay, Frico Bendito says, "What advice could you give me to honestly say this is the best way to be happy and stay together long?" Huh? Could you give be me? Kind. Oh. Be kind. Oh, besides honesty, he's saying besides honesty. Um, be best kind. advice, best advice that you can give. Um, hmm. <laughs> Um, gosh. Did you hear mine? Well, yeah, be kind. Yeah. Yes. Nancy says be kind. Learn yeah. how to listen. She says learn how to listen. I 100% agree with that one. That's for damn sure. We learn how to listen. But also, I think you have to be you. You have to be yourself. You can't be someone else because it'll all come tumbling down. So be yourself. Yeah. Um, be hostile real. Migdal loves to mess with messing with you, Karen, and I love it when you mess with me too, Hostile. So cheers! I, if if you guys have some alcohol or a little eggnog or something right now, let's make a toast to 2020 coming to an end and another phenomenal year of 2021 coming up. Cheers! Thank you. We're we're hopeful that things in 2021 are going to be a lot better. And you know what? We wouldn't appreciate 2000 and 21 if we didn't have the shit of 2020 so look at it that way you got the yin and the yang there's always a reason for for the the, the first shit seriously you appreciate everything so much more if you go through this so has anybody had i have a i have a question for you and for all the people on tiktok and youtube is there anything that was good that happened to you in 2020? Because I had some good shit happen. Did anybody have good shit happen in 2020? Nancy, I'm calling on you. What happened? <laughs> Nancy had some good shit happen in 2020. I did. I had, I had, some, I had a few really good things happen. Let's hear. Um, so I got, to, I got, I was able to connect with some very special people that have been special to me a long time. And I was able to actually connect with them. That's awesome. And I had my, got to have my first grandson born into my family. Oh, so my, I got shivers. Yes. My I fifth forget. grandbaby and my first grandson. Somehow or another, she so has grandchildren me. at 39 years old. She's got like six grandchildren. I don't get it, but there you go. <laughs> I don't know how she does it, but this is the first baby boy. Okay. Oh, somebody has something interesting to say here. Frico Bandito. He said, 2020 was a huge life lesson. Yes. Oh, I got my first DUI. And yeah, it's a good thing. It, it, uh, it taught me to slow the fuck down. Okay. You're lucky that that's, well, if yeah. You to, if, you have, if you have to get a DUI, 2020 was the year to get it. Yeah. So you don't know where to go. Anyway. Yeah, where are you going? Which is 2020. That's a good point. Um, let's see. Bars were let's see. We got Zigatina saying, I did good at college and I got into the Beatles. Oh my God, the Beatles, uh, you know, they're the, the best. What can I say? I, you, you got into some good ones. Um, okay, we got, let's see who else. I currently have COVID. Oh, God, Joseph, I'm kind of glad I got it. Felt shitty. Well, we hope you feel better soon, Joseph. And I can see that you're saying you're kind of glad you got it because you think you're, you're kind of over being able to protect yourself. But we got to be careful, remember? We, even though you think you're over it, you're still, you know, we don't know a lot about where this disease is going to go. Got to be careful. I, I, think I, I think I've discovered a new ailment. What's your ailment? I, I think I have COVID envy. You have COVID envy? That's what, that's what he's saying. Yeah, because I'm a little jealous of people that have had COVID and got and, and, and done okay and have got behind them. Yeah, but it's know? not necessarily like, so, and you know because, that. You could maybe get it again. Who knows? So well, we don't know, but yeah, you can't be like 100% sure. But even if you get it again, it's not going to be as bad as you had it because you've already got some 
antibodies. She's got COVID. COVID. That doesn't mean we're not recommending you run out and get exposed to COVID. Just get it over with. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. I'm doing everything I can to prevent getting it because I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get it. What I'm right. saying is I wish I knew how I, I I'd already had it and knew how I was gonna get right, it. Right, right. So we just like that, we don't know. That's the envy I have. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than penis envy, so that's good. Yeah, I've never had penis envy. If I any because anytime I want one, I can have one. Oh, oh, you hear that? She's never if any has anybody else had penis? Oh, gotta go. Bye, Frito Bendito. Frico Bendito. Um, has anybody else had penis envy around here? Uh, Mark Mark G says, I lived in a student accommodation for uni and everyone in my building had it. It's not fun. Oh, it's not fun. So don't have any envy because Mark is saying it is not fun. I know. I don't I don't want to have it. I want to have had it. Yes. She wants it over with. She wants to have had it when she was sleeping and it went away. Um, yeah. Hey, from England. So what are we talking about? Mark, we're talking about Things that you learned, that something good that might have happened in 2020, and um, what what are you hoping to have in 2021? Uh, best thing that happened, I saw my auntie having sex with a big black guy. Okay, that that's the best thing that happened. Well, hey, enjoy. Good thing because COVID. Yes, I just bought a home and a mortgage rates tumbled. That's the positive. All right, there you go. Interest rates are tumbling. So I need to clarify. So Robert, thank you. I'm not, I uh, believe me, I'm not trying to get it. I stay home. I wear a mask. I wash my hands. I stay away from people. I'm very, very ridiculously careful. You forget. She's also a nurse. She's a nurse. Yeah. Your husband's a doctor. They're very careful. She, yeah. I think, so, yeah, so I think it just, I'm, it yeah. didn't come out but like think, how you meant it. Yeah. The envy I have is having having it behind me, knowing that I would be okay. Right. You know, it's like because that that's the fear. If I, if I knew I could get it and it would be like a sniffle and that would be it, then I would I'd go for it, right? Yeah. I don't know that because it's, it's like it's like you got the dice in your hand, you roll the dice, like oh god, you know, which which am I gonna get? Yeah, well, so, yeah I I'm kind of I'm I, I'm not even where you're at with wanting it because of the fact I'm so fearful. Um, and I know someone recently who just died. Um, so yeah, no, yeah I, I guess I'm that. If I, if I knew I could get it and it would be a sniffle and that was all, you know, but I don't know that. So what I'm saying is I wish I had, I wish it was in my rear view mirror yeah. as a known entity. Well, That's if you I'm get the, if you get the vaccine, vaccine. you will have it. Yeah. Oh, who's giving us these flames? What does this mean? I love little presents. Thank you for the. Christmas presents, whoever just did that. That was fun. Do we have flames? Yeah. yeah. D Snyder, twelve oh nine. Snyder, it that's my my um my veterinarian's last name is Snyder, spelled the same way. Oh, someone else gave me some some these are flames coming in. I like these. D Snyder's giving me lots of flames. I'm still not sure what they all mean, but I'm excited about them. It's on TikTok, they're flames coming up. Little flames. Fire. They're fire. So anyways, this is this well, is how easily I get excited. You give me a flame and I get excited. It doesn't take much, does it? A lot of good things happen in between the carnage of COVID. If you mean sexually, then yeah, a lot of good things happen. I'm getting hearts right now, by the way. Uh, sexually, what happened, Mark? Yeah, I mean, Tell us. Give us a dirt, Mark. Come on. Don't do that to us. Uh, oh, you got a border collie named Charlie. Zigati Ziga Zigatina, that dog is going to be smart. Everyone I know that's got border collies are very smart dogs. Yeah. Anyway, and thank you for the hearts. Um, and thank you for the presents now. I love TikTok. You do. Thank you, D. <laughs> Schneider. I don't know what these presents mean, but I'm happy to receive them. Thank you for the, the holiday gifts today. And if you were wondering how you could support both Nancy and I, we're on Patreon. And I want to thank the new patrons I got, too, if you're on here. Patreon.com yeah, slash Dr. Nancy, Patreon.com slash Karen Lee. Hi, Karen. I'm a 44-year-old man that has found my soulmate in a 71-year-old woman. She's the love of my life. We enjoy watching your channel. Uh, are now. That's awesome. Could, um, COVID allowed us to find each other 2020. Great story, um, D. Beaumont. That's that's awesome. I'm glad that everything is working out for you. I'm glad that you don't you think of age as just a number. And I wish you the best. And here's to you and your your woman there. 
Cheers. Cheers. What Cheers. up? What's cracking? Your fine aunt. Your bae. Hi. You're doing this. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jay Rock, for that one. That was awesome. Um, what else we got going on? Read some of our Instagram things there. That's what I'm reading. That was, that, that was an Instagram thing. Uh, the okay. best thing, Brady said, the best thing that happened to me was move to a new city and find a new job. That's terrific. That is uh, question for you, Dr. Nancy, because I, I don't know the answer to this. What's better for men than Viagra? Cialis is good. It lasts longer. Cialis is longer. And what's Cialis, the other? And Cialis. Levitra, too, is, is Levitra is yeah, another Cialis one. Is, and, then, and then there's Blue Chews. Yeah, I think they're all kind of the same. You just got to find the one that works. Fibers keep though, and the the thing to do about with Viagra is to only take like a quarter of one. So one pill can last you four sessions. Maybe with you. Pop, 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 pop. Maybe if they're with and you. Maybe they're with you. They only need a quarter. <laughs> maybe maybe in normal situations they need more. Because I am I am the snake charmer. <laughs> She's a snake charmer. She could charm your snake. Dream Merchant 44. In 2020, I read 10 books, lost 15 pounds, and gained 10 inches of muscle. Whoa. You go. You go, boy. You go. And I am so impressed with how people have, have taken this year and just made, made the best. Creative and done these great things. And I'm just, I'm in awe. Um, and, and the question is to Karen, are you naturally blonde? Uh, take a look at my roots. That would be uh, negative. Now, I'm naturally like a light brown, um, but I've always been a blonde since I was like 18, so it'd be weird for me not to be a blonde. Um, but yeah, no blondies here. Let's see. I uh, Hush, hush that I had sex with a black guy in front of my husband. Um, and how was that? <laughs> that's, that's not a question. That sounds like a fun... Uh, no, I she had said she wanted to discuss some stuff on our podcast. All right. She, I, she's always she's always wanting to share. She's That's wanting to share. Something happened here. How do I get this down again? Shoot. Let me hit some. <laughs> right, I just posted. Maybe it'll come down. I just really guess. She to start her own podcast to share her story. Share your stories, guys. Um, you want the details? Let's say risky public fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mark is a little bit of an exhibitionist, and I love it. Thank you again for those presents, D. Snyder. Let's see who else is on here. Naturally hot though. What's better than us than Viagra, sausage, egg, and bacon? Okay. All right. Another question. <laughs> another question from Adam. What is what's your favorite color towel? Sorry. LOL. Folding towels and I ain't creative. LOL. Favorite color towel? I have never been asked a question like that in seven years. What's your favorite color? But that's kind of an interesting. But that's an interesting question, actually, because you know some people have to have white towels. Some people like multi. I mean, I, I have because I, I, I have two houses now that I have to furnish. Furnish with towels. So I, I got, well, yeah, and that's why I did them completely different because I have. I have a lot of um, like uh, Tuscany kind of colors up in the Reading, and then in Southern California, I'm doing like whites and grays and, and red, very clean, uh, and my red room. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What a shocker! Every, every room has a splash of color. Like my I, room is purple. I don't like white towels. I like white sheets. I like I like black and dark gray. That's what I like. That's it, that's just me. What do you like? So you like them all. But, but, that's, but that is kind of an interesting question. What you would think yeah. Of me. Thank you for asking yeah. that question, uh, Adam. Yeah. Here we go. That's a, that's a great question. And then back to the usual ones. Would you want a man to be submissive or dominant in bed? I'd like to say that's an original oh. question, but that is not original. And she says both. And I, I, I would say probably um, I, I lean towards dominant. Let's see. She's a Biden supporter, so she's for the streets. What the hell is that? What the hell does that mean? She's mine, so fall back. Oh, we're talking hottest gilf. I'm not a grandma, but Nancy is. <laughs> Nancy's got six of them, or maybe seven. Five. I thought Five. you had six. 
Huh. The boy is the fifth. Oh, she's got five grandbabies. But by the way, she started having them when she was like 30. So, you know, you go figure, do the math. <laughs> Um, best thing that happened to me in 2020, I had an apartment. It's always good to get out of your parents' basement. Uh, let's see. My name is Ricky. I'm new to your site. I'm hoping that... On Instagram and Facebook, what's the best thing that happened to you in 2020? Right. This is... this is What was what good came out of this year? Okay. So we have... Um, Ricky's asking another question here. Can uh, His name is Ricky. I'm new to your site. I'm hoping that you can give me a lot of good information and advice. Yes, um, Malfa said I want I would want to have sex with older women. Okay, thanks for sharing, Mark. How old are you? And if you don't mind me asking, still gorgeous, by the way. Um, problematic with that statement because I don't I appreciate the gorgeous, but I don't like it as being like by you know while well, you're getting old, so, but you're still gorgeous. It just somehow doesn't it just doesn't work with me. Like. You look good for your age. That's right? basically what he said, <laughs> which I I approve. I, I I'll, you just don't qualify it because that that's not good. All right, what's your favorite travel memory? Whoa, for me it's being in Africa because I'm an animal freak and to see animals in their natural uh, habitat was the best. Well, how about you? I mean, mm, oh come on, I'm going to answer for you. I'm going to answer for you. You're going to say Hito. No, actually, my favorite travel memory was the first trip Mark and I took to Europe, and we had three weeks. Oh, three weeks and in we Europe. Went, we went everywhere, and, and it was and it was incredible, so romantic. And I mean, we got to spend four days in Venice, and we were in oh, France, and we were in... I love Europe, Venice. We were in... We were, yeah, so that was... Um, but but that jeans so jeans up. Thank you for that bad. question. That was a good question. And jeans up. What's your favorite favorite travel memory? Uh, I'd like to hear from everybody else. Yeah. And I oh. Cheryl. So this is a good another good one. What's your favorite candle scented candle in your home? Scented candle. I just got sugar cookie. Mm. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. It's really good. And I and I bought it in the I was, I was like, crazy place. I was place. like, anything with cinnamon in it, cinnamon mm. and apple this time of year. Those are my favorites. But my favorite candle, I think, of all is vanilla. Ironically. <laughs> Ironically, because you're anything but. Um, yeah, exactly. Do postmenopausal women experience a reduced sex drive? Not if they're taking the right meds. <laughs> Not if they're doing anything like we're doing. Wait, if, here. If they're hormonally balanced, no. Another, oh, here's another question, very similar, but with a different person. Why do cougars have a high sex sex drives? They seem like to be hornier. I don't think they're horny. They're just more um, assertive. They're just more adventuresome and fun. Well, I mean, we, we could dissect that a little. Cougars tend to be older women, so they're not raising little kids because little right. kids are a boner killer for women too. Little kids are definitely little a cock block. Just, yeah, they're cock blocks and boner killers. I mean, they're they're not they're not sexy being a mom with little kids. But think about so, it; that would be nature. Yeah, that's nature's way of saying don't have too many kids because you're never going to have sex don't again. Have any more kids. Because <laughs> you're never going to have sex again if you keep having kids. So I mean, I understand it. Seriously. <laughs> oh man! Thank you for the compliments over here. What's best city to explore? Jeans up says the best city to explore. Venice is the best. Um, you know, at this point, freaking Skokie, Illinois, where I grew up. <laughs> at this point, any city is the best city to explore. Um, when I went to on a band trip with my friends to school, the Breckenridge, Breckenridge, Colorado, was a cool place. You're right, Bryson. Um, Anyway, where were we? All right. There, Not a, uh, there, are, there are so many cities, yeah. I mean, New York is still my favorite city. Uh, not a question. I hope I'm ready to fall in love and receive love now that I'm, I'm, I'm what? You got cut off. Bryson, you deserve it. 30. Now, that now that he's 30. Now that he's 30. Okay, cool. I hope you do too. 
I think you deserve it. And I think you'd be a great boyfriend. Um, let's see. What else yeah, is going is, on? Ben is in Florence. Yeah. Florence is, is really cool. Joseph said he lives in New York and you can have it. <laughs> That's okay. Right now. You can, yeah. The other, the other city that we had a blast exploring was Rome. I mean, that, that is such an it's interesting. A, it's interesting. Yeah. Cause it's so old place. and so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so to be in a place, and then and then we got to spend some time in Tuscany, which was I've never been there. Um, yeah, I I'm into any place that they grow wine. Yeah, <laughs> they grow grapes for wine, I should say. Cheers. So anyway, all right, where were we? Anybody have any questions that I didn't address? Address um, because I just kind of skipped over a lot of stuff here. So what's Here's happening? Wow. Here's a question. This is a great question we should address. What? Um, what are some guidelines I have to follow? What? I missed you there. Something happened. It ended up. Lake Como. Great. Love it. Are you, are you there? Yeah, I had a little problem in the fact that uh, I never plugged my uh, I never plugged my phone in, so the battery was going dead. Let's see if that works. Yeah, now it's charged. What do you know about the Queen of Spades? Um, it sounds sexy. What's the one thing a man can do to impress you on a first date? Listen and not talk about himself too much. That's it's impressive. I don't know. Is that too general? Yeah. I think if a con no, because I think if a conversation flows back and forth, if it's really an exchange, and that that's one of the things I teach couples yeah. is how to how to how so, to have a conversation yeah where you each feel heard. So yeah. how to use active listening where it goes back and forth where you both have a chance to express yourself right and the other person asks asks for some clarification or replays right. what you said. Yeah, it can't it can't just, it just can't be um can't be one way. It can't just be one person's listening because that's really boring too. You have to be, right. yeah, I agree with that for sure. Good night and season's greetings to you, FCOIS85. Um, I don't know what the queen of spades is. It sounds sexy. It's it's, it's women that, that like black men. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that's you then. Uh, hush, 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 whatever. Um, okay. More questions. So Lake Como, Lake Como, Como um, we stayed there for three nights, I think, um, the last, the second trip we went to Europe. And I, I spent the day looking for George. <laughs> George Clooney? Huh. I've definitely spent days looking for, for people like that. I spent the day looking for um, Bruce Springsteen once. Did you? Yeah. We, we, took, we took a boat to Bellagio, which was... It was so cool to go to to go to Bellagio, the real little island in Lake Como. I thought you were talking and, about the Bellagio in Vegas. I'm like, I've been there. Well, that's, yeah, to, to go to, to be, I've been to the one in Vegas, but then to go to the real authentic Bellagio in this such a cool little place. I mean, the streets are just like you would imagine it. And, I mean, it's just, it, there's just something so where sexy, where, where Where is that? Bellagio, Italy? It's in Lake Como. It's oh, in Lake, Lake, Como. Lake Como. Haven't Lake been Como. I haven't been there, but I've been to many, many more places. I just I haven't been there. How close, I didn't realize how close that was to Switzerland. I mean, you're looking at the Swiss Alps that come out of the lake. Okay, let's it's, put it's let's put that on our bucket list. Yeah, we got a bucket list. Nancy and I are traveling soon. We just don't know when. It's maybe next year, but uh, yeah. as soon as we get those we'll shots, as soon as we get those vaccines in us, it's it's all game over. Hey there. So if you're just joining on on TikTok, um, I'm doing live right now on TikTok here, YouTube here, and I'm with Nancy Sutton Pierce here on. Um, on Instagram, and we're just uh, talking about um, Christmas Eve and that kind of thing. And thank you for joining us. 
Fuck this, this man is covered this. by the banners. What? Who is which man is covered by the banners? Is there such a thing as being too much of a nice guy? If it starts to become yeah. overbearing? I, I think you can be a little annoying. I had a guy in bed with me once who kept saying, you okay? You okay? You okay? That was a little annoying. So if that's what you mean by nice, well, that's too much for me. I don't know that that's nice. I mean, I think that's a little, that, that's more insecure. Or just like not, you know, know it's, you know, not knowing what, what's, it, it, there's got to be a better way to do it. Thank you for following I me. I appreciate it. I think there's a way to be kind and respectful and interesting, but still have strength in who you are. Absolutely. And set your boundaries clearly. You know, everybody deserves to be able to set their boundaries and own them. It's okay to draw the lines with people, then they know how to treat you. Gotcha. But if you're a, if you're a pushover, if you're a doormat, don't be a doormat. Gonna respect you. I was a doormat. I was a doormat when I was growing up. I, was, I have to admit, I was like letting people grab the pail and shovel away from me on the playground. But I turned that shit around. And so many girls, so many girls are taught to be doormats. Right, you especially know, my generation was taught to be doormats. Make somebody mad. Right. right, we were taught to be, okay, here we go. Christopher, I currently live in Bartlett, Tennessee, originally from Memphis. Of course, fine women, older women attractive, but I am not sure if Bartlett is big on older women, younger men relationships. Who gives a shit if Bartlett is big on it? You be big on it. You do whatever you want. I don't care. You got to get to the point where you let go of what people think. Because if they, they're, whatever you do, if you start letting people affect your decisions, you're never going to be happy. I said it. My favorite sayings, I stole it from Dr. Bill. What? What other people think of me is none of my business. Did you hear that? What other people think of me is none of my business. Stay in your lane. Yep. Thank you, Dr. Phil, yep. for that. I always like Dr. Phil when, when, when he's recommending for a divorced couple like that wanted to get back together. He'll say, like, what's changed? I was I always thought that was interesting because you hear all these couples – Divorce, they get back, they get back, back and forth. But if, yeah. you're not, if you're not changing, then what's the point? Right, right. Just going to get back. I mean, I, I'm watching a couple of my counseling right now do that. They they split up for several months because of how things were. They got back together. The honeymoon was great for a couple weeks. And then they're right back to doing things the way they were. And they're expecting things to be different. No, and there was a, I saw a play one time. It's called, I love you, you're perfect, now change. Don't expect people to change. <laughs> I love you too, Brahim. Yeah, um, okay. You. What is your opinion about letting another person in your marriage uh, life to spice things up? We've talked about this a lot. Um, I know that Nancy can probably answer this better than me because she's in the marriage. I mean, it it it's, it totally depends on this this solid foundation of your of your marriage and your relationship. If your marriage is solid and strong, that you can talk about anything, and there's there's no punishment for speaking your truth and no, there's no jealousy. There's no rage. There's no anger. There's no abuse. Uh, there's no uh, substance abuse. So in other words, it's, it's gotta be a pretty damn solid marriage or relationship. It's gotta be a really solid relationship to handle the, the stress of right. adding any other person to your mix. It's always like a, it's like a triangle then, you know, then it becomes a triangle instead of like a, a line. Well, think about how, how difficult relationships are, right? Even so even in friendships. I, I, I don't even like, yeah. I've gone away on girls trips with just three people and it's always ended in a disaster because there's always someone feeling left out. So in, it right. doesn't always work out. So right. you just got to be very careful. We're not saying we don't approve of it or disapprove of it, but we're just saying just be careful. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you just want to, you want to have the skills to be able to work through some of the things that are going to come up because there are going to be things like jealousy or jealousy or uncertainty that's going to come up. And so you, oh. you have to know how to deal with it maturely. Um, Braham has been watching me for two years and I thank you for that. Braham, I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. If you just met me today and you just met Nancy today, we thank you for coming on our live stream. We know you have a lot of other choices to choose from. 
and we thank you for yes. coming to ours. Um, we like to do this because we love each other, because we're buddies, um, and yes. also because we feel like we can be examples of open communication and, you know, non-judgmental older women. That's it. Yeah, well, and I think we're examples for so much more than that. I mean, for, for one, you're you're a beautiful example of a woman that went through a horrible tragedy. Yeah, you, and, and and most people don't know the tragedy, but I lost my husband. He passed away. So, yeah, I went through something, and you went through plenty, too. Well, I mean, but we, we've both been through that. But, but I mean, you, your, your, your story is one of survival and thriving. I mean, you... You, you had, uh, you knew you had three kids that you had to pull your bootstraps up for. And I can't even imagine how hard that was for you. I'm so in awe of your courage mm -hmm. to have gone through that. And you knew you, you just, your gut was just driving you to do everything you could to keep things as normal as possible for your children. And that they, they don't know how lucky they are. <laughs> they know they know uh, if they don't know I remind them but and and that thank you for saying that neck I listen to thank you for saying that neck pubes <laughs> I appreciate you guys um hearing my story Nancy is being very neck pubes I always wonder where people get these names but Nancy is also being very uh, modest about her um I don't know if the word is um, a capacity to overcome adversity. She had it way worse than I did. And um, I respect her so much for that. And that's another whole, that's another whole wild women with, with wine saga. So we'll, we'll get into that another time. Um, Brady, I want to address, you, you've talked to us about this a lot, about you feeling like you're a doormat because you follow a girl's OnlyFans page and spend a lot of them. Don't do it. Do not, right. if you want a woman in your life, don't, you don't have to buy her. That's just, it's a, you, you've got to be able to find well, women without using money. Because the, women, the women on OnlyFans pages aren't looking for love. They're not looking for money. They're looking for money. That's all. Ka-ching, ka-ching. So you're yeah. not, you can't, you can't buy a girlfriend. Nope. Can't buy a girlfriend. Just like the Beatles. You cannot buy me love. Uh, if they want to try something different because they did it with someone else while in, a, while in a relationship with you, then yeah, that matters. Okay, so Dan is. Ah? Robert over here says once in a while a threesome could add some spice and fun. True. He, he, and, his, he and his wife had a girlfriend join him, join him, so that was fun. We are by no means saying not to do threesomes. No, absolutely not. That is not what we're saying. We are saying that just. Plan for it ahead of time. Don't jump into something without thinking first. Like anything in life, it is, any risk, gonna, you should think about the consequences. Fix. Well, it's not going to fix a broken relationship. And, you know, so if your relationship is suffering. It's not an answer. But it doesn't sound like this guy's relationship. But he's saying it's a little spicy. It, it adds some spice, which it, it could. Yeah. It, it can add lots of spice. Yeah, just be prepared to talk about it. Please, is rimming job bad? How do I make my wife to like it? <laughs> you can answer that one, too. You can't, make your wife, you can't make your wife do anything. You can't make, yeah, don't make your wife, don't make your wife like something. You can't make Listen, somebody like something they don't like. You're if you don't like cilantro, you don't like cilantro, okay? I get that question so much more from men. How do I make my wife in the blank. It's like, God damn it, you don't make your wife do anything. She's not your puppet. Not her puppet. You heard you know, it. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. Move on. Find something that she does like. She doesn't like don't rim jobs. Do don't make her like, don't force her to like rim jobs. Yeah. It's too strong. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> uh, all right, here just, we go. Just because you want to do that doesn't mean that you can do it to somebody that doesn't want it done. Right, or That's doesn't want to do it. So we're talking rim jabs. We're, right. <laughs> all right, here. All right. Ever heard of not having sex while the woman is in her period, or is that not a difference? Ever hear of not having sex while the woman is in her period, or is that 
not a difference. I, I think they're, again, it's the exact same thing we were just talking about. First of all, the axiom <laughs> says you can, you can sneak cilantro into an omelet. No, no <laughs> sneaky behaviors here, Neck Cubes. Cilantro anywhere. No, <laughs> do not do that. And, and by the way, if someone doesn't like the, Joseph, some people may not want to have sex during their period and that's their decision. You just yes. need to respect their decisions. There are plenty of other days in the month to have sex. If she doesn't want to have it during a period, just respect it. You look yeah. like you smell good. I do. So I put on my native deodorant. <laughs> if you want a discount on native deodorant, enter code mom at checkout. I feel like a walking infomercial. Brady <laughs> says all this cilantro talk is making me hungry. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. If, if they want to try it, we, we've talked about this. If they want to try something different because they did it with someone else while in a relationship with you, then yeah, that matters. Raham, I love with all my heart, wish with all my heart to be slave under your feet. I beg you. I cuckold. Uh, okay, thank you for the offer, Braham. Braham, <laughs> thank you for sharing that offer with me. I will not be send you send her your res send her your resume. No, the resume is going to end up being a dick pic. I do not want it. Just looking at you right now got me all kinds of squirting things going on. All right, thank you, Jerome. Um, why my pee pee hurt? Okay, thank you, Hurt Cobain. This is getting out of control here. This is just getting Are nuts. Like Are we 12 with the peepee -pee getting hard? That, where, is, where is that on YouTube? That, there's one on YouTube, and then we got one on TikTok, and I'm sure we'll get someone here on Instagram. You know, just got, especially tonight, you get a free Christmas cheer. You can go say whatever you want. Pool. Drew wants to know if there's a pool <laughs> boy applications. If I had a... Uh, if I owned a pool as opposed to just renting one, um, I guess I would get take the applications. Uh, I've asked so many times if I could have a pool boy. <laughs> she wants a pool boy. Okay. Add cilantro to your Amazon wish list and I will mail you some. Thank you. Thank you for maybe, that. Maybe if they put cilantro on their buckle, then the root job would be <laughs> appealing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just put a, like a little sprig in there <laughs> oh my god okay you know it's about five minutes left we're losing it here me likes toenails somebody likes toenails i always watch touch myself while watching the bowl okay thank you for sharing uh it just makes our heart pitter patter to hear that Dan, there will be no jealousy if they asked you at the beginning if you were okay with loving the one you are with. It's only fair that you be open with the other person. Well, we're not going to we're not going to disagree with that. We're going to say you're right. You need to be open. I love your smile and your laugh. Thank you, Jerome. Cheers. Cheers, cheers on rub rub rub. Thank you, Hurt Cobain, for the blow by blow. No pun intended. <laughs> Set up your candles and your wish oh, list, and I'll. Uh -huh. We've got about five minutes. We've got about five minutes left. Um, I would like to say. Nancy would like to say. I'm going to turn this up. The the upside. One of the upsides of 2020 for me has been you, Karen, and vice versa. Ditto. Because we we started the show in 2020. We started we started Wild Women with Wine in 2020. That's what I was going to say. That's one of yeah. the best things we've done. Yeah, and we got to spend so much fun time together in LA. We had oh, we this has been the best year for us. So I yeah. want to say a toast to you, my friend, my toast Libra pal, you. my my twin from a different mother and father. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love you very much, and I'm hoping for a better 2021. But this this started out pretty well for us as far as this goes, and um, we love all you because yeah we made the most of it. Um, we're gonna get going now because it is Christmas Eve and we're gonna be with our loved ones. 
Um, but we want to thank you again for joining us here, for following us on all the social media platforms. Don't bother trying to follow me on Facebook because I've been banned for talking about five ways to have wild sex from 2015. Uh, thank you, Brady. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Brace Bryson. Thank you. Yes. Thank you Everybody. for following us on Patreon, P A T R E O N, and patreon.com slash Karen Lee and patreon.com slash Dr. Nancy. Merry Christmas to all. Yes. Make sure you're very naughty. Happy Jew holiday. That would be me. Um, can I slave under your feet? No. I got happy Jew holiday, I suppose. I've never heard it put that way. Yeah. I think today's TV is so is too overwhelming. I stopped watching it was just too much sex and violence. I feel so much more peace. You know, you're right. Do what you got to do. The other day I was watching TV right before I went to bed. I couldn't sleep all night. So do what you got to do to make yourself nice and peaceful and serene. And, and anyway, Chris, nice to see you. All you guys here, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the, for the comments. And thank you for all the love. And um, you want to find us, check us out on Patreon. We put up special pictures and videos and we message each other, we message you guys. So it's a good way to stay connected when you get disconnected, which I'm disconnected on Facebook now. And that's it. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? I, uh, I think, you know, just, just uh, if, if you like what we do and this brings a little bit of light or laughter or levity or naughtiness or whatever into your life, uh, gives you a place of freedom to, to speak your truth without being totally slammed down. I mean, every once in a while you'll get blocked, but you know, you got to take a risk sometimes. <laughs> I'd like to say but, time out. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, I think Karen and I, we totally enjoy the interaction that we get to have with each other and with all of you. And that's really important to us. If you appreciate it, support us in any way you can follow us, share our videos they're all on my youtube channel the sex host doctor or dr nancy Sutton pierce they're on karen's instagram and we're all over youtube the youtube they're on youtube yeah. so karen lee potter dr. karen nancy lee potter dr nancy Sutton pierce stuff. you'll find us there and uh that's it really valuable to us yeah and uh hurt cobain 666 i need a jew mom um <laughs> what can i say I'm your Jew mom. I made it through 2020 without Karen Lee putting me in timeout. That's right. Dr. Nancy, can you call my name and blow me a kiss? Mike would like a kiss. Can you do that for him? Ah. There you go, Mike. Any Merry kisses Christmas. that you guys want? We will all wish you Merry Christmas. We're not going to be here next Thursday because we're going to be celebrating the New Year. I would say that's a signal to you, Nancy, that it's time to go. Bye. Right. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. You too. Love Happy you. New Year. Happy New Year. And bye, guys. Thank you on TikTok and thank you on YouTube. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We won't be here next Thursday, but I'll be on TikTok talking away like crazy this week because I know myself. So thank you for the 20,000 20,000 followers on TikTok. That's that's a new high for me. Now, since I can't be on Facebook anymore, it's nice to know. Yeah, Facebook has banned me. I'm a bad girl. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, you guys.